What's up, peers, and welcome back to the World Crypto Network, continuing our conversation of the awesome cold card Mark II Revision A, made in Canada, good cypherpunk tools uh, that are at your disposal. Today, we will completely wipe it. We will destroy the seat uh, so that it can only be recovered with your monomic word or, which we will do in this video, to recover with the backup SD card that we have done in one of the last videos. So go back, make sure that you have a clear, um, well, a, a clear backup, uh, a encrypted backup that is both for the test net or for the main net or whatever uh, chain you uh, want to, well, back up your coins from. So, uh, and to this, we first have to completely wipe the seed. Uh, so right here, this means that we destroy the current master seed uh, that is on here and we overroll it, right? So that it's empty again, a whole bunch of zeros. Uh, and this will then, of course, mean that you can no longer have access to the private keys on this specific device. Now, of course, if you have a paper backup, then this, or even better, a metal backup, then you can always at any time uh, easily, so to say, uh, import your coins or your private keys to those coins again on the cold card. Uh, but for now, let's get right into it. Uh, so we go into the advanced setting uh, and then in the danger zone. So this is the first time we'll actually do some stuff right here in the danger zone. Oh, it is very dangerous. So we can have some debug functions. We can lock down the seed. We can destroy the seed. Uh, you might be a developer, patch area, perform self-test, set high water, all the dangerous stuff. Uh, so for now, we will go on to the third option, uh, destroy seed right here. Uh, and now reading from the screen, are you sure? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Vibe seed verts. Uh, and reset wallet. All funds will be lost. You better have a backup of the seed words. Do you? Do you really? Triple check, quadruple check. Make really, really sure that there is a valid backup on here. Okay. Are you really, really sure? This action will certainly cause you to lose all funds associated with this wallet, unless you have a backup of the seed words and know how to import them in a new wallet. Right? But of course, this is what we will be doing here. We have done both uh, the backup here on the SD card as well as on the paper, uh, and thus we are rather secure and can proceed. Um, very nice twist here at the end. Press four to prove you read or you've read uh, to the end of this message and accept all consequences. So we can no longer do the check mark. We actually have to press the four. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, okay, and now it says here clearing, uh, rebooting verifying and we are back at the cold card now we can enter a prefix uh, and let's see if actually our uh, regular old prefix actually still works or if that has also been wiped uh, let's see the two words that i see are again the same and that is very nice so now i can go or type in the second part of the pin really good and it says wait and now, okay, we are back in. Uh, so we still needed to have the password, but now we can generate a new wallet or import a existing wallet. Um, uh, we could also go into help and advanced. Um, very interesting. Uh, so that, that the pin was still on this device. So the pin is not deleted when you destroy the seed, right? Because the pin encrypts the hardware. It does not encrypt the secret. Um, Okay, so either we could create a new wallet, this was one of the first videos that we did here on the WCN, or we can of course import an existing wallet. And here we have different options because different standards are supported. We can have a 24, a 18 or a 12 word paper backup that we then type in by hand. Uh, we could do this, uh, or we could restore a backup. That is what we have right here on the SD card or we could import just the extended private key. So if we have that in a text file or something, then we could put this here on the SD card and import it uh, through this way. Okay, but we of course have done a cold card backup. So we will hit the fourth option, restore backup. Uh, and it uh, blinked here really briefly. So it just has read on the SD card what is on there. Select the file containing the backup to be restored and then enter the password. There are two files to pick from. Very nice, that is true because I've made two backups. One is a backup for the testnet and one is a backup for mainnet. Uh, since I actually have coins only on testnet for this, uh, I, I will actually import the testnet uh, 
well, the testnet uh, wallet to make sure that we can then actually send out of that wallet again, right? Uh, okay, and now this is how you actually type in the words. So right, remember 12 words did the encryption. So uh, it says right here, you want to type in the first word and then you can select the first letter of the first word, which for me is a D, like Dora. Uh, so I click that and automatically, now it only shows uh, the second letters in words that uh, start with D. So it already has decreased the amount of typing that I have to do. Uh, so for me, the second word or the second letter would be AI. Uh, so then it's DI and now it shows all the rest here. Uh, and this is what I will do now, uh, not with you on the recording, because that would be really boring. Uh, so I will now type this in here off screen. Okay, really quick feedback. I am currently at word four. And now what it shows me down here at the bottom is the progress bar. So I have four of, tw uh, of 12 words already typed in. Very nice to see how much longer you can enjoy the clicky buttons. Okay, I'm almost done now typing in the last word and pressing enter. And it will say now decrypting, of course, that is a read write action. So the SD card uh, shines up. Now it says saving uh, and ta-da, success. Very nice. Everything has been successfully uh, restored. We must now reboot to install the update setting and or the seed. Uh, so when I press OK, it does automatically go into reboot mode and I have to type in my PIN now again. Uh, so doing this and then we, can, then we can actually set up a transaction and see if it still works. So and as soon as I type in the words, I'm back in the main menu that we already know and love. Really cool. So what we can do now is we can get this, this SD card out, which currently only contains, again, the encrypted backups for testnet and mainnet. Right? So even if we have set them up uh, right now, they still only contain uh, what we have allowed them uh, previously on. So no decrypted file is on here. Remember, if you decrypt on your laptop, for example, with the command line tool, then you actually see the decrypted file and it will be stored on the SD card. Uh, so uh, again, the best way of securely and uh, securely upgrading or, or importing the backup is by never revealing it to a hot device. So again, the backup mechanism here directly on the cold card is superb. So uh, let's get into it here. We have the Electrum wallet open and the public key is already imported, right? We did that last time. Uh, so now what we can do is we can click on receive and generate a address. Which coin should we spend? The one that I uh, so stupidly did double, uh, I guess double funds. So uh, never reuse addresses, you know that. Um, backup. Success, question mark, let's hope we actually made it. Again, we will send 500,000 Satoshis, which will give us a change output as well. Uh, we can now click on preview to see, okay, it is backup success with this transaction ID, uh, unsigned, uh, zero Satoshis. Oh, and by the way, um, I have just recently, just today actually, upgraded to Electrum version 3.3.5. And that was, uh, that was pushed as soon as I uploaded the last video. So that was fantastic. So now here we see a little bit different uh, layout with the size and RBF true and lock time on the other side here. Uh, minor change, uh, just so you know. Uh, so we have one input, we have two outputs, both of them belong to us. Oh, we actually just typed in 50,000. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so we can save the PSPT now and it will automatically give us the new wallet.json 1905101000.psbt. Very nice. We can save everything here. Transaction exported successfully. Okay, then let's quickly unmount this. Uh, and now we can go back into the video uh, to put back the cold card, right? Uh, sorry, the SD card right into the cold card and we can press ready to sign. It will read from the SD card and it will ask us because there's only one unsigned transaction directly, is it okay to send uh, 50,000 uh, testnet Satoshis to the address uh, TB1Q1, right? This is exactly the address that we want, very nice. And network fee of 141 Satoshis. Press okay uh, to approve and sign the transaction. Press X to abort. Okay, now we are signing it. And again, read write action right here. And now the PSBT is signed. We have a updated PSBT and we have a finalized transaction, which is ready for broadcast. Um, okay, we can get the SD card back out, back into the laptop and now into screen sharing where we go into Electrum. 
uh, and we go to tools load transaction from file we see here this is the final txm perfect we open it we triple check if everything is okay we don't send anything to a external wallet uh, fee of 144 satoshis uh, from one of our inputs to two of our own outputs addresses uh, one is the receiving address one is the change address looks perfect uh, and we broadcast payment sent successfully and in the bottom right corner we see a new transaction uh, that just removed 144 141 satoshis out of our wallet for the mining fee so history there we see it uh, coins we have two unconfirmed coins right here and right here Pierce, we've done it. This is it. We have proven that we actually still have full control over this wallet, even though we have completely wiped the Minomic or the seed and we have then imported it via the backup. Pierce, isn't that beautiful? Uh, and again, a reminder that uh, this backup version is, as the cold card is, entirely, completely offline right? Uh, we have generated the seed on here. We have done a backup of the Menomic on paper and metal. Uh, we have done a backup of the entire seed and some additional information on our uh, hopefully industrial grade uh, SD card where it is good for long-term storage, right? Uh, and then it has never ever at once touched a hard in or a hot internet device, right? It was 100% completely offline so far. Now, if you want to import the backup, first we need to destroy the seed on the already existing uh, wallet, which means that the, the, the seed is gone and you no longer have private keys on this device. But nevertheless, the device itself is encrypted with the same pin as you've set before, because the pin encrypts the device. It has nothing to do with the, with the Menomic, right? Uh, and now if we want to import it again, we can either from hand type in the, tw the 24 words Menomic that we've done a paper and metal backup, or uh, we can use the very convenient uh, right here, uh, encrypted SD card, where we have a, uh, a file, a seven zip archive file that is encrypted with a randomly number generated uh, 12 word Menomic. Very nice, very secure. Uh, and by the way, this encrypted backup, you could put on a cloud surface if you want to, because it is securely encrypted. Of course, I wouldn't because it still leaks information that it is a backup file. But nevertheless, theoretically, it's possible. You only leak sensitive information, not private information in the sense of private keys. Uh, and then if you want to import this, uh, we simply plug in the uh, SD card, we encrypt it with 12 words, and we're done. Uh, very nice. And then we can send transactions just as we have done uh, just recently. Pierce, is this not beautiful? This is, this is mind-boggling cool <laughs> to have a completely offline device that is connected with this, like over uh, only electricity here, nothing else. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, so Pierce, if you want to get your hands on them clicky buttons, and if you want to try out uh, the very, very awesome cold card wallet, uh, then you can enter our uh, giveaway. Uh, if you are an open source contributor, then please let us know how, where and why you have contributed uh, and uh, why you keep on doing that. And thank you very much for being one of the sponsors and supporters of open source Libre software. Uh, and so as a token of gratitude, uh, Cold Card and the World Crypto Network uh, collaborate here to give you one of 10 Cold Cards. So tell us which open source project you work for uh, or work with rather, uh, and then tell us why you would need them clicky buttons and them offline backups. Uh, peers, if you have any questions about this, you can call the HODL hotline for hourly consulting with Bitcoin peers. And for a humble donation of 1.5 million stats, you can schedule a call with me to, to ask all the many questions that you for sure have about all the different softwares that I talk here on the World Crypto Network. And then also, if you want to support the many, pro uh, the many events that we give you, uh, live and recorded interviews and conversations with the Bitcoin peers, then you can donate to our TallyCoin here on the right uh, to get new microphones for on the road. Uh, this will help us to increase the production quality and the sound quality of your podcast. So I'm pretty sure that you would like the high quality studio microphone that we have here. Uh, but of course, uh, it would also be nice to have similar quality for the videos that we produce on the road. Peers, as always, thank you very much for joining me here today and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.